Today we are talking about atomic structures and electricity. Atoms form structures which construct everything we know, taste, see and smell. In fact, everything around us is made of atomic structures. An atom is made up of 99.9% .9 of empty space. So why is knowing about atomic structures important to engineers and engineering? Engineers must look deeper into the phenomena of the world in order to make it work for themselves and for us as a whole. The nucleus is the innermost part of the atom. A human hair, one of the narrowest things visible to the human eye, is around one million atoms across. The nucleus contains both protons and neutrons. A proton has a relative mass of one unit and is positively charged. A proton has an actual weight of a whopping 1.672 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. A neutron also has a relative mass of one unit, but has a neutral charge. The actual weight of a neutron is slightly heavier than a proton. Now for an electron. An electron has a relative mass of almost zero. A small fact for you. If, say, a nucleus was the size of a football, the nearest electron would be almost half a mile away at 0.8 kilometers. Atoms can gain or lose electrons. When they do, they form charged particles called ions. When an atom loses one or more electrons, it becomes positively charged. When an atom gains one or more electrons, it becomes a negatively charged ion. Metal elements are characterized by free or valence electrons in the outer shells of the atom. It is these free electrons that move about and create and conduct the electric flow of energy. So why is copper typically used for electrical cabling? Well, copper has one single valence electron in the outer shell of the atom, thus making electrical transmission more effective than in other metals. So now you know what an atom is, what electricity is, and why copper is typically used for power cabling. So thank you for watching. Presentation and audio by Hassan Yadi. Until next time.